Apple. I'm Jay Casco from thewinestalker.net, and this is my third unboxing of a ForbiddenGeek.com mystery box. So the mystery box, you get a like an accessory, like a Funko Pop or a T-shirt, something really cool. We get ten comic books from all different spans uh, in time, and also a trade. And I mean, it's a really good price. I got 30% off on this one because I have bought ones before. They they like to do discounts. So for the one, this one right here, 21 bucks. And you're talking like just the Funko Pop and the trade is going to be more than that, right? So I mean, it's it's a hell of a deal. And the thing about this box in front of me, it's not DC. The other one too I did was DC. I'm a huge fan of DC. This is horror. I, when they announced this, I couldn't wait. I wanted a horror mystery box. I want more horror mystery boxes. This is what I want all the time. So I can't wait. Let's do it. Let's open this up. <laughs> Jason Voorhees. So <laughs> when I found out, the very first thing I did when I found out about um, about the horror mystery boxes that I actually, uh, on Facebook, I, I went, not Facebook, I went to Twitter and uh, I sent a message to Chris Rimmer who does the DC uh, the DC uh, Squadcast, comic Squadcast, and he has his own um, horror comics uh, podcast. And I let him know about this because him and I, we're, we're like, we're, we love this stuff. And he got his the day before. He got his yesterday. And he, I asked him, what'd you get for Funko? What'd you get for, you know, the accessory? And he was like, I got Jason Voorhees. Same exact thing, brother. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. And Jason Voorhees, Friday the 13th, came out. The day I was born, very first one, not the day, the year I was born. Sorry, drinking wine here. Alright, what do we got? Now, the cool thing about For Forbidden Geek is that they will take suggestions. And I said, I'm a huge fan of DC horror comics. But, I mean, when I was growing up, man, those reprints, I was all about it. That was, I mean, that was the thing. That was the thing for me. I love them. So the very first thing I've got is something that looks very similar to an old school EC. The Seduction of the Innocent number one. Oh, this light really pisses me off when I'm doing these unboxing. Uh, let's see, it is from... What year is this shit? Tell me what year you're from. This is a DE Comics. I don't even see a freaking year. Tell me what year you're from. Well, the cover's from 2015, I think. So, I mean, it's recent. But, you know, number one, the seduction of the innocent. Somebody's being very, or no, somebody's being cut up, man. He's got a hatchet, his bloody hand, being buried. Vincent Price. Vincent Price Centennial. It's, uh, it, it's okay. Vincent Price, Price Presents. This is from August 2011. Dead Lady. Looks like Vincent's got Dead Lady. What the hell are you doing, Vincent? Come on, man. Diablo House. Number one. Uh, the cover A. Dude, that guy is like freaking. Looks nuts. What the hell's going on there? That house looks cool. And. Upside down. Cover. Even better. <laughs> Vampirella. Hell yeah, Vampirella. Dude, that's awesome. This is Vampirella number one. And, uh, yeah, Innocent Cover. Lord, if I can, not another year on this one either. Awesome, man. Vampirella. That's great. Uh, v Wars. Um, I'm assuming that's Vampire. Number one by Mayberry. I have no idea where that's from either. That guy really wants to suck my blood. And then uh, Twilight Zone, awesome dude. Number two, that's great. I love the Twilight Zone. Funny thing, my wife uses the that phrase uh, the wrong way. Sometimes she's like, you know, uh, am I in the Twilight Zone? And it has nothing to do with anything that you'd expect to use that phrase. And I'm like, okay, uh, let's see. Oh, dude, this is a George R. R. Martin movie, and uh, Skin Trade. So. Uh, George R. R. Martin, pretty sure that he's going to take my heart and tear it out of my chest. Uh, I'm going to like a character in this, and then he's going to kill them. And uh, it's that, that that is a wolf, or a werewolf, or something like that. And he wants to tear my heart out, pretty obviously. Brimstone. 
number one. Why do none of these have a year on them? I'm trying to figure out like what era these are from, and none of them have them. That, that, that's a, a recurring thing with horror comics, apparently. But, hey, in Vertigo, there's something that I'm familiar with. It's uh, John Constantine, Hellblazer. So hopefully this is one of the good runs. I'm not sure if it is. Uh, hopefully it is. That's from uh, 2009, 10 years ago. July, July 2009, so exactly 10 years ago. That's awesome. House of Secrets. And it's number two. It's number two, so I mean, it really is a secret for me because I don't know how this happened, like how it started. Uh, and now I've got a, like something after getting started and I don't know how it ends. This is a total secret, a total House of Secrets. I'm gonna read it anyways. Is, is that like the guy from The Cure? I love The Cure, that's cool. All right, uh, let's see. Ghosted, number seven. This bitch looks mean. She's gonna shoot me up. Damn. All right, now in Joshua Williams too. <laughs> Joshua and Joshua Williamson. Uh, you, know, you know what? Now that's Joshua Williamson, I want to see how it does on horror because I'm about to drop his splash book. Most of the run has been just okay enough for me to not drop it, but lately I'm just like, I gotta get rid of it. I just do, I really do, I can't take it anymore. The Visitor, and how we, and how he stayed. There's Nazis on this. Oh, dude, that Hellboy. The Visitor. How and why he stayed. Dude, yeah. Alright, yeah, Mike Magnolia, Chris Robertson, Paul Grist, oh, fuck yeah. I'm all on board. Let's do that. What number is that? Four out of five. Damn. So I get the one like that, that, like, you know, oh man, come on. All right. Oh, I'm gonna, hopefully I like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig that anyways. I really know I am. The X-Files. Fuck yeah. X-Files, one of my favorite series of all time. And uh, this is number six. That's gonna be cool. I, you know, and it's almost like a, that's a photograph. That's almost like a photograph as the cover, right? I want to see the art in this. I, I can't wait to open that and see the art. That's gonna be cool. Oh shit. All right, so I have my uh, my trade, Flinch, book one. What the fuck is that guy doing? He's cutting his face open. What's wrong with his eyes? What the fuck is that guy doing? Flinch. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, man. That looks great. Yeah. I know, oh, hey, and I got a thing here, save up to 35% if I subscribe. So if I could do the as like a monthly or quarterly and all that stuff, I gave him further discount, which is great. This is awesome. I get Jason Voorhees. Where the hell am I going to put this? I have a two-year-old and eight-year-old. Where the hell am I going to put this where they can't see a dude with like freaking... Check this out. Check this guy out. Oh, his machete even comes off. It's not even attached to him. And a freaking axe. Where am I putting that? I gotta figure something out. Maybe I'll like, you know, put it on a shelf over their beds. And say, you know, you behave or Jason's gonna get you. Um, dude, this is awesome. I really can't wait to look into these. Really cool. And I really can't wait to get another one too. To, to like, the, the suspense of seeing this package being sent to me. It was just like, hey, what is it? I can't wait to see all these books. Um, I love these guys. Forbidden Geek is awesome. I love all the... Uh, the random discounts you get every time you vis visit their site or even today like today they had a, like a random sale that just like popped up and like just do this before 7 p.m. you know um, these guys are awesome and they listen like I said I told them I like EC and I even told them I really don't want anything Walking Dead because I'm trying to collect that in uh, in the omnibus and so there's nothing Walking Dead here and uh, these guys are great uh, so cheers guys have a good night